So guys, let's talk Dangote. Watching the latest interviews that Dangote has been doing, especially the one that he cried, it kind of made me laugh. The reason why it made me laugh is not what you are thinking of. See, we all know the saying, grown men don't cry. Imagine being the richest man in Africa once upon a time, or being the richest man in a country. You come out on public TV. Why granting an interview, you were on a blink of shedding tears. You were on a blink of crying. Guys, Dangote was brought down to the most common Nigeria, <laughs> to the commonest of Nigerians. <laughs> what the federal government of Nigeria is doing to Dangote, it, for me, I'm going to view it as a biased Nigerian, as a biased Igbo boy. And then I'm going to view it as a patriotic Nigerian. Yes. But first of all, let me just view it as a biased Igbo boy. Guys, Dangote has been known for years for monopolizing every business venture that he enters. When Dangote went into producing cement, Dangote monopolized the cement production in Nigeria. If Nigerians sell cement 2,000 Naira today, Dangote has a say in it. If the price of cement goes down to 1,000, Dangote has a say in it. Once upon a time in Nigeria, we had the likes of Ibeto and other prominent Nigerians producing cement. But what happened? Dangote, through his monopoly, through his connection with our politicians, went through back doors, concocted different types of stories just to take away the production license from all the prominent Nigerians producing cement. Nobody cried foul. Nobody said anything. We just swept it under the rug. Fast forward, Dangote went into production of pasta. We know Dangote pasta. Everybody knows it. Dangote monopolized it. Nobody else in Nigeria produces pasta, except for recent years. What else? Almost every business Dangote puts his hand into, he monopolizes it. So, am I happy with what is happening to him right now? As an Igbo boy, I will say yes. Kama is a bitch. But as a patriotic Nigerian, I will say no. Because the reason Dangote built that refinery is to create jobs for average Nigerians who are looking for jobs. Yes, that refinery was built in Lagos, the business hub of Nigeria. Dangote could have built that refinery in any other African country. And they will give him land for free just to build that refinery. Nigeria produced tons of crude. What would it take the Nigerian federal government and the NIPC, the people in charge of that crude, to say, hey, you see what Dangote? Take this and uh, with the help of your refinery produce it. Maybe if you do so, the price of where the price of diesel, the price of petroleum will go down. But uh, why am I saying they will do that? Because at the end of the day, people are making money through fuel subsidy. Yes. And if you're asking yourself, how do I know what I'm saying? This is the same Nigeria where our politicians get hardship allowance. So how do you think they are going to work hard in making Nigeria better? Because if they make Nigeria better, that means there is no necessity for the hardship allowance. That means their money will be cut. So how do you think they will make Nigeria, be Nigeria better? Coming to the terms of Dangote and oil, everything that is happening to him. Yes, we need a lot of people in, in, into the oil and gas industry make a lot of money, tons of money from the whole exporting crude to go and refine it outside of Nigeria and then importing it back. People, people make killings. For that kind of connection. So for Dangote to build his refinery and be like, I can take on all the, uh, I can take on refining all the crude oil Nigeria has been will be producing. No, the people, the higher ups that are in charge of exporting that crude oil and importing it as petroleum material are angry. And I have to also chime in on what Very Dark Man said that for Dangote to build that refinery, he had in mind that the Nigerian federal government and NMPC, people in charge of that crude oil, will be giving him crude oil, unless there was a deal gone bad at the last minute. Guys, why am I saying that? Take you and I, for example. I want to be a YouTuber. What do I do? I start buying my phone. I start buying this mic. I started buying my tripod. Why? Because I know I'm going to be a content creator. Now, before I start doing that, I have to ask myself, where am I going to get the kind of content to create? What kind of niche am I going to go into? With that in mind, I'll be like, okay, that is the first step. I'll be like, okay, what is next? What do I need? Now, as a businessman, if you want to get into a business, you first do first, you have to first of all have the knowledge of that business that you are venturing into. Have the knowledge 
find where to procure your goods at a cheaper rate that is the next option and then when you find that then you start looking for stores outlets where you can sell your product now Dangote, we don't know the plans you had with nigerians we don't know the plans you have with the nigerian uh, government or the nmpc we don't know so for you to waste all your money everything cost if you check the price of that refinery it's almost done with its net worth so then it was like going all in in that refinery having it in mind that after this deal i will retire and have it in mind that if the nigerian local government or the, the uh, tinubu administration were to support Dangote 100 percent Dangote will climb back as the richest man in africa and the amount of money he will make because all the money that he will be making from that refinery will be his own his own personal money guys think about it his own personal money so for some of you coming out and crying oh what the local government are doing to dangote is not good what the tinubu administration are doing to dangote is not good when the same dangote bribed the nigerian politicians to take away cement production license from the likes of ibeto nobody cried foul when the same local government decided to demolish landmarks in abuja and lagos sorry in the name of building a coastal line that nobody is talking about now nobody said anything no we just took it as oh it's nigeria in the words of Nike, heavens will not fall that's how we nigerian take things now dangote is reaping what he has sold since he has been monopolizing every product every business that he ventured into and now is the time people wants to come out and cry foul no let us treat it the same way we've been treating all the things that the nigerian local government have been doing to nigerians but as a patriotic nigeria i will say the local government the nnpc and dangote should go back to the drawing board and check the deal and check where the deal went wrong Yes, we know Dangote is going to make a whole ton of money. But at the end of the day, 